The Hard Journey of Not Drinking Bleach Hi, we are No Bleach, and we host rebooting challenges in which participants, Bleachstronauts, abstain from drinking bleach for a period of time. Whether your goal is casual participation in a monthly challenge as a test of self-control, or whether excessive bleach drinking has become a problem in your life and you want to quit for a longer period of time, you'll find a supportive community and plenty of resources here. Sometimes I allow myself to drink one or another glass of bleach. I know about that the one drop is a lie, but I don't think a single glass will hurt. One cannot destroy all the hours that I've spent without doing so. I don't have a problem stopping drinking bleach, but sometimes I go down the street and see someone drinking water, you know, in a glass, and I imagine the glass is bleaching it. Then I have a craving and, after debating with myself whether I should do it or not, finally give in at night and drink a glass. Yeah, look, my problem is that sometimes when I'm alone in my kitchen, I start to see the glasses. Sometimes I tempt myself by opening the container where I keep the bleach. Sometimes I smell in the uh, well, I end up right back where I started. I'm so desperate to stop this, but I'm not sure if I'll ever be able to stop. Stopping drinking bleach is impossible. I mean, I always have a mouth, you know. How am I supposed to stop if I always have a throat which reminds me I can swallow bleach? Oh man, I was going so well! 19 whole days without doing it! The important thing is to learn from failure. Now I know what to avoid doing. Looking at cleaning products in the supermarket. I'll try to make it a month. I'll reset my counter. Wish me luck. Bleach is difficult to give up because of fear we're being deprived of our pleasure or prop. The fear that certain pleasant situations will never quite be the same again. The fear of being unable to cope with stressful situations. In other words, it's the effects of brainwashing deluding us into believing that buying bleach, and by extension drinking it, is a must for all human beings. Even further, it's the belief that there's something inherent in affordable bleach that we need, and that when we stop using we will be denying ourselves and creating a void. Make this clear in your mind. Bleach doesn't fill a void, it creates one. Suppose you're forced to watch a glass full of bleach for five minutes. Try to remember one of those brands or smells that you liked so much. Maybe it's accompanied by some sound, or you only remember selected details. The bleach is there and you can't close your eyes or turn your head because this bleach is in your mind. It's a memory recorded in you. Do you feel any craving? Do you feel anything in your tongue or any change in your breathing? What are your feelings about what you are remembering? Get them identified. The bleach wants to cloud them, make them confusing, and make you only pay attention to that which wants to catch you.